Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be breaking down the Kawaki DLC, so let's get right into it. Okay, so as of now, I've only got a chance to play as the cast character, so I haven't been able to put like his moves on the our created characters yet. But so far, this sounds seems like a really balanced DLC. Like it's good, but it's not overpowered. There's nothing really broken about it, uh, as far as I can see so far. So we're gonna talk about his two ninjutsu, his substitution, and his ultimate. So let's first look at his first ninjutsu. So this one is called Karma Lynchpin Strange Taste. So it has a 20 second cooldown, one in power, one in range. It says, on hold, nearby allies are invincible to ninjutsu and ninja tools. Resets enemy ninjutsu cooldown and drains their secret technique gauge. If those are disabled, the user's ninjutsu cooldown is reduced, except for strange taste. And then it has like increased damage and you also charge your ult while you're doing this. So this move is pretty good, It's, uh, but like I said, it's not overpowered because it's not very easy to catch a lot of people in unless you're on something like base or flag where people are standing still, but on combat, you're either going to have to like wait for somebody to come to you or set them up in some kind of combo before you can get them, but even then they can just hop out of it real quick so you won't be able to get like your ult and stuff back too much. But if you get a bunch of people in there and like they're in there for a long period of time, your ult will just charge like right up, it's kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, that's not that's like very situational. So yeah, this is uh, it seems like a balanced jutsu so far. It has a lot of utility, but it's not like overly damaging or anything like that. Okay, so his next jutsu is called Imperial Wrath. This one has a 12 second cooldown, two in power, and a three in range. It says transforms the user's right arm into a shield for a tackle attack that nullifies all attacks except for secret techniques and resets the target's substitution stock. Users can act freely and follow up after tackling. So this one, it kind of like rushes at you, sort of like a Rasengan type of move, but it, it will block incoming attacks. I didn't realize that actually while I was playing until I just read that. And then uh, once you hit, you can, you can push the button again like right away or you can wait for a while and then and then set them up and then hit it hit it any time so usually if you land it if you push it right away again it, you'll be able to combo it but sometimes they fall out of it so you can also like combo them up a little bit more and then do it and then do it after uh, so yeah this move is kind of it's good it's got a short cooldown and also the biggest thing probably is that it, subs, it resets their substitution stock and yeah you can really use this strategically since it nullifies incoming attacks so that's uh yeah this is a good it's a good jutsu too Okay, so his sub is called the Emergency Exit. So this one has a 25 second cooldown and it heals you. This is crucial. So let's look at this real quick. It says this technique uses Taijutsu to instantly escape from an enemy attack. In addition, the user utilizes both the scientific ninja tools and their own innate re regenerative abilities to recover health. So you get some uh, health over time. It's not like a crazy amount of health, but it's a nice amount for it to give it to you after you sub. So like, I mean, if you sub, you're in danger anyway. So it's, a, it's really nice to get some health back, especially if you're like playing range or something where it's hard for us to survive anyway. And it's only got a 25 second cooldown. So this is a decent sub. I might have to put, put this on some of my range builds. And then for his ultimate, it's called Karma Lynchpin Ritual Destruction. So it has a five in power because I'm pretty sure it one shot everybody. I'm not, don't, I'm, it's not confirmed yet from me, but everybody I've seen get hit by it has died instantly. It's got a one in duration because it's so strong. It says the user rushes at an enemy and strikes with a single fist while using a ninja tool to pierce the enemy. These attacks are followed by a karma linchpin that explodes and inflicts massive damage over a wide area. And when they say it's a wide area, it is a wide area. Like it covers, it covers the whole area that a base is on. Like not just the base itself, but like you could get, you could get hit with this just as like collateral damage when somebody's not even targeting you and from what i've seen so far the uh, tracking is pretty good too so yeah this this ultimate is definitely good it's beefy and it basically one shots from what i've seen so far and you can get a whole bunch of people in this especially on like base or flag where people are grouped up so yeah everything that kawaki can't comes with and he also comes with a ninja tool and a weapon but i haven't been able to see like what the description on those two things are yet so i'll talk more about those later when uh, tomorrow with, with another video when he the DLC is out for purchase uh, but from what I've seen the ninja tool it has two stocks and it, and it has a very short range for a ninja tool but it does a decent amount of damage but there there must be some other effects that it has but I haven't figured it out yet one time somebody hit me with two of them and it broke my guard when my guard was fully charged so that might be another effect that it has that it, it d does a lot of guard damage but yeah we'll see we'll see tomorrow when uh, I come out with the video about about using his 
jujitsu on your cacks. So yeah, I wasn't like, like I said before, like I don't watch Boruto, so I wasn't like too excited that Kawaki was coming out, but this, this DLC is pretty dope and and it's not broken. Like it, none of the stuff seems broken so far, but it's, but none of it is bad either. So yeah, this is just a, this one of the most balanced DLC I've seen to come out so far. Hyped about that sub though, for real, my range cack. So we'll also talk more about the patch notes in another video. There's not all that many, but the, but it looks like they're trying to balance some stuff that's been given given that's been causing some problems lately so we'll talk about that in the next video uh, but yeah thanks for watching everybody don't forget to shinobi strike that like button subscribe for more content i'll see you guys in the next one everybody stay safe out there peace and love